So today we are looking at Jesus, the risen Lord. And I'm going to read from uh, Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 to 10. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation of the Bible. Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone and sat on it. His face shone like lightning and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him and they fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body was lying. And now, go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. The women ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. And as they went, Jesus met them and greeted them. And they ran to him, grasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers to leave for Galilee and they will see me there. This is a reading that is undoubtedly more associated with Easter rather than Christmas because it talks about the initial reactions of Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Joseph to Jesus coming back to life after his crucifixion days earlier. But it's worth remembering at this time of year, and in fact always, that Jesus came to earth from heaven for a reason. And that reason was to show us how to live a life that is pleasing to Father God and ultimately to die a cruel and painful death. And in doing so, paying the price for the sins of all mankind so that we can enjoy the gift of forgiveness and relationship with God the Father. The two Marys were going to the tomb with burial spices so that they could anoint Jesus' body. They would have been sad grieving, probably sleep deprived, and possibly confused. And from, the, from that point, what a day they then had. First, there was an earthquake. Then they witnessed the men who were guarding the tomb faint. And then they saw at least one angel. According to the Gospels of Luke and John, there were two. Just pausing there for a moment, I wonder if you've ever had a day like that. Earthquakes, faintings, angels. Pretty sure I haven't. And as if all that wasn't enough, the two Marys are then greeted by Jesus, the very same Jesus that they saw being crucified and killed. It's a pretty wild story, right? In fact, Luke tells us in chapter 24 that when the Marys were relaying this story to the disciples, it sounded like nonsense to them. I don't think that's really very surprising because I'm not really sure where the two Marys would have started. Sort of with that story and retelling it all what happened. Anyway, we're told that Peter runs off to the tomb to see for himself. I want to think a little bit about how the two Marys responded when they were greeted by Jesus after the earthquake, the faintings and the angels, that is. Verse 8 says that they were running quickly from the tomb, that they were very frightened, but full of great joy. And as they're rushing to tell the disciples who should greet them, Jesus himself. And verse 9 tells us that they ran to Jesus, grasped his feet so they bowed down and they worshipped him. 
Jesus is the risen Lord and is alive today. And he wants relationship with each of us. In the excitement and eagerness, or possibly fear and sorrow for some, that Christmas brings, perhaps it would be easy to bypass Jesus in order just to get to it or to get through it. Where does Jesus fit into a fortnight or so of shopping, wrapping and unwrapping presents, stress, eating, drinking, family, traveling, etc.? If we exchange earthquake faintings and angels for stockings, turkey and parties, how are you going to respond to Jesus this Christmas? Will it be like the two Marys? The songwriter Rick Founds encapsulates Jesus' mission and our response very succinctly in four lines of his song. You came from heaven to earth to show the way, from the earth to the cross, my debt to pay, from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Jesus is the risen Lord and he deserves our worship and adoration. <laughs>